Hey guys, Joanne here with Newegg TV. I'm here to do an overview on these NZXT Hale 90 V2 series power supplies. We have them in the 850 watt, 1000 watt, and 1200 watt versions. Couple things to note before getting into the boxes. They all come with a five year warranty, 80 plus gold certified, which means at 20% load, you get 87% efficiency, 50% load, 90% efficiency, and at 100% load, 87% efficiency. And one 135 millimeter dual ball bearing fan, plus 12 volt single rail design, and you get high quality Japanese capacitors as well as full modular power and it's 2013 ERP lot 6 compliant which means the max power draw is less than 0.5 watts on standby. Oh, and um, here is NZXT's lesson 3 uh, PSU service program where you can go ahead and drop off your dead PSU and return it back to them. And a couple more things. You get full protections for over voltage, current, power, temperature, under voltage, and short circuit uh, protection. And it uses intelligent fan control technology for better cooling. And that's about it. Here's everything that comes in the box for the 1200 watt power supply. As you can see, it is a fully modular PSU. Uh, but before we talk about the power supply, I want to go over all of the accessories, including all of these cables. So uh, first up, we have this white bag to carry all of your cables and your user's manual, bag of your cable ties and installation screws, power cord, and we'll start over on this end. Here is your 20 plus 4 pin main connector. The only, well it's sleeved, but it is the, it is the only cable that uh, is, does not have a flat cable design. Next to that we have two 4 plus 4 pin CPU plugs. And here are your 6 plus 2 pin PCIe connectors. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of them. So you will have no trouble with an SLI and Crossfire X setup. Next to that, we have 4 plus 4 uh, Molex connectors. Plus 3 plus 3, that makes a total of 14 Molex plugs. And 2 floppy connectors. Last but not least, we have your SATA connectors. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, with a total of 16 SATA plugs. And now if we look at the power supply, here's your silent 135 millimeter double ball bearing fan. You get a max noise level of 30 decibels and it has a black and white theme going on all around. The Hale 90 logo is designed in such a way that it doesn't matter which orientation you mount it, it will always show upright. On this end, we have your modular connectors and on the back, Oops, it's like this. We have some ventilation holes, your power switch, power port, and finally a look at your power chart. For the 1200 watt version, we have a single plus 12 volt rail at 100 amps and you get 1200 total watts. Here's a look at the cables that come with the 1000 watt and 850 watt power supplies. They both come with 20 plus 4 pin main connector, of course, and the rest of the modular cables are flat cables and two 4 plus 4 pin CPU plugs. We have 14 Molex connectors and two floppy as well as 12 SATA. What's different about these connectors is that the 850 watt version comes with four 6 plus 2 pin PCIe connectors and the 1000 watt power supply comes with six 6 plus 2 pin PCIe connectors. And one last thing, and of course they come in these handy white bags, uh, is that the 850 watt power supply is a plus 12 volt single rail design at 70 amps and you get 840 total watts. The 1000 watt version also single plus 12 volt rail at 83 amps and 996 total watts. That wraps up our overview on these NZXT Hale 90 V2 series power supplies. I'm Joanne and if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching New Egg TV and we'll see you next time.